During his presentation to the SBS Digital Forum in Seoul, Joshua Benton of the Nyman Lab gave some pretty interesting examples of automated sports reporting. In the United States, we have 30 Major League Baseball teams, and they all get lots of attention, but we also have hundreds of college baseball teams, and often there are no reporters there to cover the college baseball games. So the Associated Press, later this month, is going to start doing something interesting. They've hired a firm based in North Carolina called Automated Insights. And what Automated Insights does is they're going to be writing automatically generated, bot-driven stories of college baseball games. The Associated Press doesn't have enough reporters to go to all these games and to cover them themselves. But instead, they're going to use the data created by the game to create journalism. Let me give you the, another example from American sports. Uh, this little fella is the New York Times fourth down bot. Now, I don't think I have enough time to explain all the rules of American football to you, but if, if you're not already familiar with them. But basically, there is a point in a game when an individual coach of a team has a choice to make. He can choose to be very risky and try something out, or to be cautious and to punt the ball away. Oftentimes, these are, these are decisions that have real impact. If you choose wrong, it can hurt your team very badly. And there's a lot of data that indicates what the right choice is in any given situation. What the fourth down bot is, does is it's created this giant database of what was the right decision and what was the wrong decision in hundreds and thousands of past circumstances, figures out what the right choice is according to that data and according to those odds, and then tweets out the correct choice in its mind at the same time that the coach is making those, that decision on the sideline. In other words, it used to be that you, have, you had to wait a little while to criticize the coach for making a bad decision. Now you can do it in real time on your Twitter feed. Another example of, of automation playing into things. This is a, tw uh, a Twitter account called Replay Last Goal. In the World Cup uh, last summer, uh, whenever someone would score a goal, a team would score a goal, this gentleman, Xavier Damon, who was one of the co-founders of uh, Storify, another news startup, found a way to capture a live stream of the video, used a different service to figure out when a goal was scored, then to immediately record the previous 15 to 20 seconds of video that captured when the goal happened, and then to upload it and tweet it out. So you could get alerted in real time with no humans involved whenever a goal was scored for your team or some other team. All this happening through automation.